Hello everyone, Snipe Trading here. Today is March 20, uh, Wednesday. Um, finally back from vacation. Um, hope everyone had a safe trading while I was gone. Um, uh, trying to get back into the market. Um, today was the first day I'm trading again. Um, so up $111. So the first trade I did was ESTR. Um, so sorry I didn't have uh, my live recording set up uh, ready. Um, today, but I'll hopefully get it ready tomorrow and have the live footage. Um, but today, yeah, so I traded ESTR on my first trade. Um, so I wasn't really watching this, but it was on the percent um, winners. And then towards the end of the day, I saw this uh, this trend line here uh, was breaking down. So this trend line here, um, and then you can see it had higher um, at higher highs, um, but it really, it didn't really hold, um, I was hope, I was, I was hoping to see it maybe push up higher and then hold this as support, um, to maybe go long at that position, um, but it kind of fell to hold that and popped up and down with VWAP and then had a, a lower high. So I went ahead and saw this uh, trend line crack and started to short here and then I added my position there and then what happened was um, it kind of cracked through and it held through this support um, so I took some off here um, and here on my way down and then when I saw it pop uh, I guess pop back up the 13 EMA on the one minute I just kind of took it off um, but in the end it trailed down to to two thirty at the end, um, but yeah, you can always capture um, the whole move. Um, I was planning to re-add if it retested this uh, two ninety area because that's where it broke broke here, um, but it never got there. Um, so I was kind of hesitant to um, reshort. Yeah, so this two ninety was like. Uh, 290 area was a VWAP retest and this prior uh, support here. So it didn't get there, so I didn't um, trade it again. Uh, my next trade was Apple. So I was actually looking at this for a long. I saw this flag here. Um, you can see this flag. It was holding in and then it's going to break out. Um, but at the same time, uh, on the SPY, uh, there was, uh, I think, Fed, uh, some news about Fed uh, unchanged rates, uh, and uh, pretty much everything was moving. But this also uh, uh, helped this catalyst as a catalyst to break out of this uh, trend as well. So I missed this for a long, I was uh, hesitant to go long, but I missed that. Uh, and then I saw it's overextended, so I did a small short. It was a really short scalp to the 13 EMA, and pretty much it was the done trade there. Um, and then I saw it overextending again, and then on the one minute chart, um, I saw weakness here, and I started short here and just covered the rest here. Um, and then I almost reshorted here um, for. So here you can see it's a really small uh, cup and handle break. Um, but this one right here, you can see this support. It was starting to form another a bigger cup and handle, but I didn't end up taking a trade. But uh, nonetheless, it kind of trailed back down to 188. Um, but yeah, so just two trades today up 111. Um, so hope everyone stayed safe um, while I was gone and hopefully I can start posting my watch list again and uh, creating daily videos again. So as always guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.